Hey everybody, welcome to Jackie with a Q. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's well, and I hope you're making it happen for yourself, okay? Um, before we get started, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, right? One more time, like, share, comment, and subscribe, right? So today is a great day. Today is a beautiful day. Today is a beautiful day. As y'all see, I got on my power to the people hair. Because it's power to the people day, right? The people have spoken, and Joe and Kamala is going to the White House. Now, I got some names for them because I want to, you know, I want to get to know them a little better. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be uh, JoJo and Cammy. That's who they is. JoJo and Cammy. With respect. With respect, right? You know, the people have spoken. I have never, ever, ever in my life, and I don't believe in the history of voting, that it took four days to count them votes. Now, let me tell y'all what that means. That means, even though white folks showed us who they was, they don't really give a damn about us, but it also means people that have never voted before came out and voted because they tired of that bullshit. You know, you have to be very inhumane to have done the things that Trump has done. Number one, separating them children from their parents. That's just like all that old dumb shit he's saying, all that tweeting and all that. But the fact that he separated children from their parents can't forgive you for that, right? Um, the fact that he set us back two or three hundred years with all that white folks rhetoric, right? All that white supremacy and inciting riots and inciting hate. He incited hate. That's evil. That's evil. You know, and I like to always believe that good will uh, surpass evil, right? Now, the people have spoken. Like I said, people, I've never seen people vote early like that. They vote early in droves. That's why it took so long to count, because more people uh, voted than who's ever voted before. More people voted than ever fucking before. Not then. That's wonderful. God damn it, that's wonderful. But I'm going to talk a little bit about the people who didn't vote. Now, and I'm just really speaking to my brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Because we have an obligation. We have a duty. Y'all hear me? A duty, God damn it, to vote. You know what I'm saying? We are able to have the freedoms that we have because our ancestors, our forefathers voted. Okay? So for you to sit at home and say, I ain't going to vote. Uh, he this, Joe this, and Joe that, Joe this. We don't know what the hell Joe is. We don't know what he is. Anybody. You could have went and got an alien from outer space, goddammit. An alien would have been better than what we have now. We already, he done already showed us what he gonna do. Let's see what the next man gonna do. Why would anybody with good sense, with good sense, I don't give a damn what you believe in. You know, you can believe in, I don't know what, people are believing in all type of dumb shit, right? That's their beliefs. But your common sense at some point would have to kick in so you can say, we don't want no more of that. We don't want no more of that. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like, okay, you know, Dad Bobby is um, a rapist. He's a killer. He's a creep, right? You don't invite Bobby to your house? Now, you heard that Billy was the same thing. You heard it. You ain't seen it. You don't know for sure. Got to give him a chance. Got to give him a chance, right? We don't, and, and, and the fact that, let me tell you why I gave him a chance. You know, like I said before, the man is 75, right? Uh, you should have, you know, most people, we evolve. So the shit you thought in your 20s, in your 30s, or your 40s, you don't think it's in your 70s, unless you're just an evil creature like Trump, right? You have learned, you have grew, you have evolved, you have matured, right? So I'm sure, I'm sure it's some shit you said uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, how old you are, 10 years ago, right? You don't feel that same way. And if you feel it, you ain't going to say it. And you may be able to adjust your thoughts, you know, to go with the way the people go. Now, let me tell you why I have a problem with Trump. Any president, any president, uh, he, has, uh, he has to have humanity because he is for the people. He is for the people. When you have shown that you're not for the people, he was for big business. He was for money. Yes, we are supposed to make money, but you can't step on my head to get to your goal. You can't do that, right? You have to make a way. That's the whole point of being presidential. You have to make a way for everybody to be all right. You just can't blatantly just uh, just, just uh, not include certain groups of people. 
that's not presidential, right? And, you know, I've had, I've, I've watched my Facebook, you know, people saying all kind of ludicrous things. Um, and uh, what was the latest one I heard? That um, I'm, This one ain't even going to repeat because I ain't even going to put that out in the air. It was so ridiculous. But um, I've heard uh, a lot of things that people said about Joe Biden and the reasons, they were giving reasons why they didn't vote. Not it. I'm going to say it one more time. That's dumb, right? If you cannot be for black power and black, uh, want to change black injustices if you don't vote, how the fuck are you going to change? How are you going to get changed? You going to sit there and think it in your mind? How are you going to get changed? You have to use a democratic way of voting for somebody that you think will give you change. So let's say you don't want to vote for the president. You got to vote for the senator. The congressman, the house, of, the, the, the state representative, there's the mayor. The uh, in Cleveland we have councilmen. There's other things you have to vote for. The judges. See what people don't understand is you got to vote for the judges because them the ones that's locking your people up. Okay, that nigga that you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your baby daddy who ain't shit, yeah. Uh, uh, your daddy. You know what I'm saying? You you got to vote for. It's bigger than the president. This year it was about the presidency. And changing the house and all of that. But in a normal uh, presidential election, or a normal election period, that's not a presidential election, it's, it's bigger than just the president. You know, because you have to vote for your lawmakers, your policy makers. That's what's important. So if you're, if you're saying you for the people and black politics and hey queens and kings and all that, you just talking shit. You just basically talking shit because you ain't really for the kings and the queens, right? You got to vote. You have to exercise your right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the fact, let me tell y'all something what I saw. Kanye had 50,000 votes. 50,000. Now, who the fuck is voting for Kanye? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, check on your peoples and see where your mindset is at. You know, I have, I, have, I have quite a few girlfriends that I love dearly, like sisters, right? And, you know, and me, myself. You know, every now and then we can we can we can go up in the crazy tree, and you have to you need your friend, your sister to 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 talk you out of the crazy tree, right? You know, the people that I saw that was writing stuff wasn't many, a couple, two, three, right? And people, you know, people say what they say back to them. I'm not gonna ever say anything to anybody because that's their page and they had that right to to to, to say whatever they want to say. But I, I, you know, I put a memory, I got a, uh, I put it in my memory banks, right? So I know, okay, I know who you is. All right, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm going to say this about voting, right? Black folks, I'm talking to you, black folks, us, right? If it had ever, if it ever comes to a time, and I've been saying this for 30, 40 years, of us and them, you or us, no matter if you voted or not. And that's the problem with black folks. We can't stick together. We ain't got no stickiness to us. We ain't got that. You know what I'm saying? That's a problem, you know, and, and they can always divide and conquer. Look at it, Trump did it. You got Lil Wayne, all these Negroes. I know goddamn well Lil Wayne, mama, grandmama, auntie, cousin, sister, them. You come up out of Louisiana. I know y'all need some help. Yeah, at one point, you might not need it now, but you needed it, right? Uh, Ice Cube, he from Compton, wherever he from, I don't know where he from. You know what I'm saying? You might got all that now, but it won't, you, you, you know, it's some people at one time that needed that help. And it's, it's your ancestors, your great-grandmama, grandmama, aunties, depending on how old you is. Some of them folks was protesting and, and, and marching and carrying on, right? You know, just the mere fact that black folks marched. You know, they marched. You know what I'm saying? They, I, we, would any of us march today? Now, we might go down and stand in a crowd and clap and do that shit, but is we really marching from city to goddamn city? You know what I'm saying? No. No. No, so the fact that, it, it, to me, is disrespectful when you don't vote. It's disrespectful of our heritage. It's disrespectful of the process that got us here today. See, for everybody that's a little younger, you don't understand what it felt like, what the climate was like, especially in the 60s. I was a little girl, but you know, the climate, the climate, right, it was ugly, and you could feel it. Now, I'm going to say just maybe, what, 30 years ago? I know when I was in school, you know, I, for all of us that, you know, my, my, my YouTube family that's in Cleveland, uh, I grew up on St. Clair. Now, you know, people, we got pretty much free reign of where you want to go now. But that, that, that's only a generation back. Go just one generation back, and you could you had a limited space where you could be, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? From the park, 88, 
to 150 seconds. And when you get 150 seconds, we get a little fishy sometimes up, up, up and through that, depending on the time. And so would the park area. Now, true enough, people grew up across the park. That's what we call it, across the park, right? But shit, that little stretch, getting across, getting from 88, across the park, 79, sometimes can be tricky. Now, I remember that shit, right? Trump had set us back to that. I've watched videos where white folks actually stopped, stopped black people. You know, I seen a video, it was so sad, a little girl, she was young, and I think she was 20. They surrounded her. Now, that couldn't have been Shakita them. It surely couldn't have been me, right? And they surrounded her and wouldn't block her in their cars, wouldn't let her go, right? And she was just filming them and talking, and she was talking in her good voice and all that, right? Then they sent the old Becky, old Becky heads, old big-footed Becky, right? And they were telling her, hit her, Becky, don't do something. I said, now, they tried her because she looked like a pretty good, light-skinned uh, suburban girl. You know, probably ended up in a fight. She's just smart, right? So that's why she filmed it. Couldn't could have ran up on Shamika them or Pookie them with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I saw another video where white guy had all this shit on his truck. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are in the South somewhere. And them niggas made him turn around. They stopped. They all blocked him. Said, go back there with that bullshit. And he turned around and went on back there. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, we are not. I'm going to say this one more time for the white folks in the back, across the street. We are not our grandfather, grandmama them. We not them people. We not them people. You can get what you're looking for today. Because we done been through so much shit. First of all, we done been through so much shit to get to this point, right? We ain't letting you take that from us. So anybody that don't vote, you was really asking for your civil liberties to be taken away from you. You know, Google it. Look it up. You know, sometimes you don't get the candidate that you want, but you have to pick the better of the two. You have to pick the better of the two. And to not pick, you just want to give your vote to, the, to, the, to that one. Because if you don't vote, you're just giving your vote away. You know what I'm saying? And this is, you know, look, it took four days. Today is, uh, they voted Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Four days to count the votes. And I still, I heard it's still not counted. It's just he got enough to win, right? So the people, the people have spoken. We, first of all, we want this COVID shit. Let's just get down to that. He never addressed that. He just said, forget it all to go away and blah, blah, blah. Now, did he have COVID? I don't believe so. Ain't no way in the fuck nobody 75 years old had COVID. And uh, they, uh, a couple days later, they was together. Unless he got the magic potion. Now, if he got the, the antidote, maybe he did have it. You know, I think all that heavy breathing. You know, at first I said, oh, damn, he got it. I felt a little bad. No. No. And then, you know, I'm trying to figure out. The doctor said he went against his will. That the, was the doctor in on it? Um, you know, what was that all about? Because I just don't believe that you... I've had friends in their 50s that had to stay in the hospital 30, 35, 40 days. If they didn't die. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, you know, the survival rate is not good when you're over a certain age, right? Now, I've had people that were younger that, that had it, didn't really show any symptoms except a sore throat or couldn't taste, or, you know, all that stuff. They still kicked around. But, you know, when you get over 50, that shit debilitates you, right? And I've had friends who've had it and said how horrible it makes them feel. You know, they have no energy. They have no strength. They, you know, they didn't die. But they was fucked up, right? So listen, we need to we need to do that first. We need to try to eradicate that. That's number one for me on my agenda. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's just say because I want to live my life. Don't y'all want to live your life? Even though I know people are just moving around like they want to, but that shit ain't safe. Nah, that ain't safe, right? That ain't safe. We couldn't feel comfortable, right? But again, y'all, goddammit, we won. We won. We won. Now let's see what this four years bring. And you can't forget, I don't know what Kamala is. Like I said before, she looked black. You know, she married a white man. Okay, so what? But she look like us. Let's just hope she got us in mind. You know what I'm saying? That's better than what we already saw. What we already saw, that, no. Let's hope that this, because see, let me tell y'all what I believe. And I said it before. Yes, Biden is going to be, he's the president-elect. Remember, he was a vice president under Trump, a black man. Now, the sidekick is Kamala. Cammy. Cammy. That's Cammy, right? Y'all don't think that Kimmy gonna be t uh, talking to him and, and, and putting bugs in his ear? You know, she got to... She, you, it can only be a better. If it ain't nothing but a tad bit better, it's gonna be better, right? Um, I know that uh, Trump issued out them little stimulus checks and shit, by the way, I still ain't got. And he put a halt... You know, he was doing mean stuff. You know, like I said, I work for the power company. I was talking to people, especially in the rural areas, they wasn't getting their mail. They weren't getting their mail. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, I didn't have a problem getting anything sent to me, you know, from Cleveland or from wherever I ordered it from. I never had a problem. But there are some people in certain areas that were not getting their mail. You know what I'm saying? Um, Trump was doing all kinds of shit. So you can't fight dirty and expect to win all the time. You know, the universe don't work like that. God don't allow that karma. God, the universe, whatever you believe in, it don't work like that, right? So um, I'm happy, y'all. I'm happy. You know, I hope y'all happy, you know? And I hope, you know, so this presidential race showed us who people were. You know, we got our eyes on them, right? We know who we are. You know what I'm saying? We understand that nobody really, really caring about us but us, right? That's cool. We used to that, you know. But the, but the, but 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 what what really um, boggles my mind, you know, is the people that didn't vote and adamant about it, want to fight you about it. You know, if you're not voting, this is what I feel. If you weren't voting, just keep that shit to yourself. Ain't nobody got to know that, you know. So I feel like if you said it, because you want controversy. Why do you want controversy on such a serious subject as that? Why? You know what I'm saying? Why do you want controversy? Why do you want everybody to know you was a fool and ain't vote? Because that's all you do. You know, you might have two or three people ride your coat on that. That means all y'all done. And like I said before, if you that dumb, you don't deserve to be my friend. You know what I'm saying? Because you done. You know, me and my friends think alike. We're like-minded, right? So, um, if you that dumb not to vote, you know, that's on you. And, and, you know, the people that I know that said a few things, they're not rich. They're going to need some of this shit. If, you, if nothing else, you're going to need some good health care. Okay, you don't want to vote. But you need health care. If you don't need it now, you're going to need it. Or your mama need it. Or your, your, your kids need it. Or your grandchild need it. You're going to need some health care. Unless you possess uh, magical powers, you're going to need some health care. That's number one. After we get finished with the COVID, COVID is still with the other. All that's with health care. That's, that's, that's some presidential shit, right? That's some shit you need to be putting your voice to. You know what I'm saying? To make sure you get that. Okay? Trump wasn't going to give you that. He gave you what he's going to give you. A little stimulus check. That's, that's, all you, that's, that's what he gave you, right? Um, we need health care. It's number one. You know what I'm saying? We need health care. But before we get to that, we got to eradicate this COVID. So we need a team of motherfuckers. And we have to shut down for three months, shut it down. Shut it down because I'm ready to do some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to be amongst the people. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be amongst the people until it's over with. I don't care what nobody said. I don't care what nobody do. Right? But anyway, y'all, I just had to get on here and talk about the president. You know, let me tell y'all something. I took a nap today. Right? I don't take naps because naps mess up my whole situation. Right? I, I, I'm a, you know, I get up. I got up way too early this morning. Right? Got up at 5.30 this morning. By 10.30, 11.30, I did it. I had shit. I did so much stuff. Right? So, I was tired. Got me something to eat. I was tired. So, I tried to fight the sleep, but it wasn't going to work. So, I took a nap, right? Took me a couple of hours to recuperate from the nap. You know, I got to wake up, walk around, take a shower, get myself together, think. You know, I have to get myself together after that. Because naps make me grouchy, right? You know, what they do for most people, they don't do for me, right? That's why I'm taking naps. But anyway, I just wanted to, I had to, had to, had to talk to my YouTube family about the great thing that happened today, on a Saturday. And see, I was through off, because I was off yesterday. I was thinking today was Sunday. I was thinking today was Sunday. So I still got another day. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, anyway, we're going to see what, what, what the, the, you know, it's got to be better than what it was. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, I, I hope we don't listen to the uh, negativity of what these Karens and Bobs are saying about what they're going to do and all that. Right, stand by and stand, get ready, whatever that shit he was saying. You know what I'm saying? Because, listen, that ain't going to work everywhere. I just hope, you know, that y'all know that that shit ain't going to work everywhere. Because you're going to go in the wrong spot with that shit and, and come back twisted up, right? So, you know, I'm down here safely by myself. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't, I ain't too much worried about nothing because I ain't going nowhere for you to get me, right? But um, everybody just keep your, keep your head up. Uh, we kept hope alive. That's what we did. We kept hope alive. You know, and I had I had, had a little uh, rant on Facebook myself just because I was I, I was tired of seeing that bullshit, right? I was tired of seeing people talking about they ain't voting and all that dumb shit and all that dumb rhetoric they was talking. So I said something. I wouldn't say nothing on nobody else's page because that's their page and they have a right. But I said something on mine. It's like I say, something on my YouTube channel. It's mine, right? So, you know, I'm glad that we uh, pulled this through. Um, I'm happy. 
Uh, you know, it feels like a weight is lifted because that shit was heavy. You know, that, that that whole presidential race, that whole campaigning and all that, the, the debates, all that, that shit was heavy, man. That was way too heavy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's over. Now we got something to look forward to. You know, it feels like it's the equivalent of, okay, it's been snowing, right? Now, in a minute, the sun goes shine. That's what it feels like, right? So we just got to think positive, keep praying, keep hope alive, y'all. So anyway, y'all, uh, make sure you uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, uh, yeah, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm really, really happy about this, y'all. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy <clears throat> because, you know, I was thinking of what the what ifs. And my concern, like I said, was health care. You know, I need health care. Shit. And I can't, you know, I can't afford to buy into it, whatever it was going to be. Right. Um, so I'm happy, y'all. So anyway, all you Trump supporters, uh, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? All you no voters, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? But for all us in the blue, see, that's why I wore blue today. That, that's the whole purpose of the blue. Y'all get that? I got my blue on and my uh, power to the people wig. Why? Because I'm for the people, right? All right, guys. Uh, make sure that you um, stay safe. Continue to wear your mask. Um, we voted. We have spoken. Uh, and, uh, you know, just be all right. Okay? Be nice and kind to others. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching Jackie with a Q. And uh, be safe. Bye-bye.